Oh, in one door and out the other. Okay. I ran out early this morning and turned off the heater because it was plenty warm in the greenhouse. Let's go on out again. Let's get those windows open. Fence open. Hurry up, Mr. Doodlebug. You're too slow. 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 Uh. Uh. Hurry up, dude. That insulation is a little bit of a pain, but it's very much worth it. Now I need to get this open. I'm trying to encourage this to sprout again. I don't know if they're still alive in there. We're hoping that they will be. Dirt, dirt, dirt. And covered the potatoes this morning. And you can see they look pretty happy. These are the Adirondack Blues. Uh, these are the mystery plants. And we've been thinking about the possibility that they might not be potatoes, but we're not sure yet. <laughs> I hate things like that. Godfathers and Sandias and Mamma Mia Rosso. Oh, geez. There's actually a baby pepper on here. How silly can you be? I did not see that bloom even. Wow, talk about being tenacious. Anyway, I had decided I would open these up a bit and let them get some more air. I've got three, at least, cabbages that need to be harvested. I've got one that I discovered was split this morning. And... I take that back. There's one split too. So that one's got to be harvested too. That gives me another loose pot. Oh dear. Four cabbages. I got to tell my husband we have to find things for. <laughs> Let's see how our broccoli broccoli's doing. Let's see. These guys may have finally finished. That's both glad and sad on that one. I still have one batch of broccoli in the fridge. These are about, I think, I'm not seeing any new sprouts on these. Hmm, could be. These guys here have been producing broccoli since Thanksgiving. And I know there are some sprouts over in here somewhere. So I did see some here the other day that were too little, see? Like that guy. Okay, I think it's time for everybody to get a hit of fertilizer and water a little bit later today. I have a list longer than my arm of things that keep coming up lately. Ah, but we're still going to get it done. Check out the size of these rutabagas. That's going to be awesome. Look at that guy. He's gorgeous. I'm going to go over the cabbage really carefully today. Have to harvest out any of them that are done. And get those pots recycled and sitting over in the corner. Okay, onward. What we're trying to do is we're trying to plan ahead because we have, we're started, we're going to be making some new beds in the garden and we tend to top them with potting mix. We also tend to use potting mix sometimes when we are planting into a bed that is less than ideal conditions. These are getting more and more expensive. So, yep. Hi, Jack. Are you enjoying the sun this morning? I said, Oops, I am. Hang on. I just realized I forgot to reset this little thing. I want this a little bit. There we go. See this? Uh... That thermostat I just showed you allows us to control at what temperature the fan goes on and 
this time of day, I'll turn it so that it goes off at a lower temperature. But towards the end of the day, I often will crank it up to say 85 degrees so that only if it gets really hot in there will it go off because I want to maintain more heat to start the evening out. Miss E says having an awesome time rolling in the dirt. Ow. Did he startle you? You're funny. He's being Halloween cat here. Uh, there's daffodils. I got one bud on here that's going to pop open in the next couple of days. And I need to spend hours on that bed. Here's our stash so far of compost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. To start, uh, some of these beds don't need much. Others do. The daffodils over here are starting to open, but check out these crocus. Aren't they gorgeous? This is the best cro crocus batch we've had in a while. Some other flowers are mostly past due now, but still truly awesome. We actually thought they were dead. So it's really nice to hear that they're not. That's the nicest crocus batch we've had in a while. My efforts last year, I tried not to disturb this area at all. I fertilized them and watered them all summer. The uh, peppermint has taken over the world, unfortunately, in here. But still. Uh, yeah, there's the daffodils on this side. This whole section here used to be daffodils, and uh, through a series of misadventures, they have not done well. But uh, this area here tends to naturally be watered by the slop from the bird bath, so, which is partially frozen right now. Uh, but the birds could still get water out of that. So I'll be, I refilled it yesterday. Uh, exciting thing is that uh, in the uh, r roses, which are coming back because I am watering them, I need to clear this out a bit here, but the, the, the chives are back. So we have chives in here. Fortunately, I also have... Uh, I'm not going to remember the name of it right now, but this stuff, <laughs> it's an invasive, but uh, chives. So that's cool because uh, I've been missing my chives. We haven't had any chives fresh from the garden since January. So it's nice to see them back. So we had a two-month hiatus with no chives. <laughs> so, but all of this needs to be cleared out. I started, but every time I turn around, there's something else that comes up. So, okay, Miss Isa, are you toasting yourself in the sun? Yes, you are. Your tail's all fluffed up still from playing Halloween cat with Jack. <laughs> yeah, you can see where I pulled out the weeds the other day. The gravel hasn't evened out yet. Okay, let's get back to it. Well, I'm going to pull two of the 4x4s four four over here and try to lay them out to where the top is more or less level and then okay. I'm going to be sistering these 2x4s on. Do you want any uh, sawhorses? Uh, you know, if we have a couple of sawhorses, we'll be able to try yep, I one of them. Alright. Excellent. If you can do me a huge favor and just block this end here so I can try to line the sides up. Up here. This one that's free. Watch your fingers. No. Nope. Okay. You're relatively parallel now. I'll check that real quick with a couple of two by four.
Now you may be wondering why I'm sistering these 4x4s together. All sistering means is I'm using another piece of wood to splice these two 2x4s two two, together. Now when I bought these 4x4s, I could have bought 4x4s that were 16 feet long, which would have been more convenient, but the problem was I hadn't bought any wood from this particular woodcutter and this particular sawmill. So I didn't know how wild the grain was going to be in the wood. Now by wild I mean the grain may be going crazy which would cause the lumber to warp when it dries out. Let me be using these four inch timber lock screws to sister these beams together. First I have to find the bit for it. It's supposed to be in the box. Let's see if it is. Oh, there it is. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a flat spot anywhere out here that I can use to screw this together. I'll start by putting four screws in one board. It doesn't have to be perfect, I just want it to be more or less lined up. Let's see if I can drill if I can screw through the, let's see if I can screw through this without splitting the wood. Let's see if I can drill through this without splitting the wood. I may need to drill a pilot hole. <laughs> It's going to split. So, all right. Now I'll need to go get a drill. Yep. Um, I can provide two if I scab one off on the other side temporarily. You just have to go back when we're done with it. I know. This is going to be enough. I'm just going to use this to temporarily try to see if this particular way of scabbing the 4x4s together is going to work. If okay. not, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some metal brackets. Right, because I'm just looking at what you're doing and going, that's not going to work. It's going to be on the opposite side. We'll find out if it's going to work. It should work. These screws are adequate. They're architectural screws that will, right, structural that will hold it. Two by fours to start with. <laughs> I have to drill everything. Well, I was hoping that I wouldn't need to drill each one of these two by fours, but I clearly have to. So, get a drill the right size. That will just do it. Okay. The big thing we'll need to do is make sure the opposite side is, is, pardon? Mine. We just need to make sure the opposite side is going to be flat. So I'm going to 